one of the great outcomes of our in-person workshops was that the patients um, got together with the researchers and heard about the latest research and the patients came away really excited and inspired with hope um, about the potential for new treatments. But also for the researchers, they got huge amounts of inspiration and energy discussing their research and seeing that actually the patients really cared deeply about what they were doing. Allport syndrome is a very complex inherited disease that impacts hearing, kidneys, and eyes. Children begin to develop deafness um, in the first decade of their lives and uh, quite often typically in the second decade um, begin to lose kidney function often resulting in a kidney transplant or dialysis. It was January this year and we were about to start planning our fifth in-person workshop in August 2020 and obviously that wasn't going to be possible. Because of the situation of COVID, um, I've had more time on my hands. So I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester. The idea was to bring together the patients and the scientists to actually create this space where people could share their work, where people could talk about what's bothering them, all these kind of things. So we decided to use Zoom. The online workshops really are a great tool to get out to bigger number of people that could be able to access an in-person um, workshop. What we wanted to get out of these online workshops is to expand the number of people that are able to access this level of science and research that's going on in Alport syndrome. Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth online workshop. For today we'll be spotlighting the Jeff Minor Lab. And with the ultimate goal of actually getting across detailed understanding of um, what it is to have Alport syndrome and what is being done in order to treat alcohol syndrome. Some people are obviously shielding or pretty limited in, in their interactions. So this was to bring the Alport community together to understand what researchers are doing currently. In a female who has one mutation uh, in the collagen 4-alpha-5 gene, this individual would have, or this female would have, milder disease. And the reason for that is because uh, females have this other X chromosome without the mutation that balances or compensates for the other chromosome. But it's important to engage with the patients and know their story and know actually what, what is behind the disease because we do the research and what happens to the body but what really matters it is what happens to the patient as a person and what they go through and ultimately this, this drives our research. The online workshops really are a great um, tool to get out to a, a bigger number of people that than could be able to access an in-person um, workshop. So the in-person workshops are brilliant because you can develop relationships a lot better, you can speak to a number of people in the network, so there's still a position, there's still a place for in-person workshops and, net and networking in the future. This has really been um, quite an interesting uh, sort of avenue of how we're going to do the workshops in the immediate future with the lockdown because we're basically going to be able to get to an infinite number of people. We don't have to have transport issues for people to get here. Uh, the only issue is potentially time zones, but that can be overcome by the um, workshops being recorded so people can watch them later. Going forward, we will actually do a combination of carrying on the Allport Online workshops but we will also move um, straight into planning our Beijing workshop, which is gonna happen in August uh, 2021 instead.